Hey everybody, welcome to the Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Now in our last build, we went games when we built the Auspex Scanner from Warhammer. And uh, if you missed that build, we're going to include the link to our channel's homepage in the description below so you can go over there and check out Auspex Scanner uh, or any of the other super cool builds we have there. But uh, for this build, we are going to go video game. Actually, video game and slash collectible. So without further ado, Black Sheep Props would like to introduce you to the newest member of the family. <laughs> what the heck? Check that out, man. Woo! That is the Joker's dart gun from Arkham City. And it's actually taken from a cool photo I found of... Uh, a uh, collectible of the Joker, and one of the little accessories is the jammin' dart gun. That's right, check that crazy thing out. Wow, man. Got the whole cylindrical top section there and the big handle. Got the guard down here. Look at this thing loaded up with colors. Purple, red, silver, black, white, green. This thing is crazy. Um, look at that, wow. Uh, tons of circles in here. This is loaded up with circles, so you got to be really careful lining it up, but uh, man, look at that thing. Uh, so in this episode, Making an EVA Foam Joker's Dark Gun Part 1, we're going to begin going step by step through this thing. Um, and we have a template for this too, so if you want to build your very own dark gun, uh, we're going to include the link to the storefront in the description below, so you can go check out uh, all of our templates there, and you can grab a template for this if you want. Um, or you don't have to, just chill out. Uh, so, if you're ready to hit it, let's make something. Alright, so we're going to start Joker's Dark Gun by doing the handle and the base, the, the bulk of the gun. And uh, pretty simple stuff. We've got our template drawn onto our one inch piece of foam, our 24 millimeter, and we've got some three and some six also. So, let's uh, start cutting. We're gonna go right around our Sharpie line, straight edge in, and we're gonna get right in the corner right there and go right through. All right. All right, now this is really easy too. We're gonna sand our knife up and we are going to pivot right around all these little curves and corners. Stand your knife up and you can pivot right around all those tight little corners. All right, now we're gonna take this six millimeter piece over to the bandsaw and we're gonna knock it out. We could. All right, there's all of our pieces. We've got our six millimeters. We've got all of our threes. Now, if you notice, these two three millimeter pieces have a line on them. We have our wood burner heated up and it is super crazy hot. Now we're gonna hit it and we're gonna run right through it at the same speed and the same pressure because we want the line to be consistent and if you slow down or speed up or loosen or push down a little too hard your line weight will change and vary and you want it to be consistent. Alright, there we go. Give it a couple minutes, let it dry and then we stick it. Right there, I'm right on my corner. And then down this bottom side right here, we just want to line it up. All right, we're flush all the way around. Perfect. All right, there we go. That's exactly what we wanted. We've got the little step down. We've got the wood burned groove. Now, all right, now we're going to take our one inch piece, our 24 millimeter, and we're going to cut this line out because we're going to use the edges to make sure that we line our pieces up in the exact correct spot. So let's go knock this out on the bandsaw real quick. All right, there we go. There it is. All right, we're going to be sticking these down, but before we do that, we want to slightly round off the edge. So we're going to get our dust mask on. All right, there we go. We've got a slight beveled edge around both pieces. 
Now we're going to come in and we're going to use the edge of our foam. We're going to line these up on both sides. But what Line our edge up. All right, there we go. Got on both sides. Now we're going to be coming in with these pieces. We transferred our template over. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut these bottom sections with the X-Acto first. Roll right through and then we're going to get to here and we're going to curl off and follow our circle around. Pretty jamming. Now we're going to knock off our straight lines first. Perfect. So what we actually are going to do is we're going to now that we see that this all looks pretty darn good. All right, here we go. Now, okay, see how we line it up at the bottom and we line it up with our circle and just like that to make this line. Okay, now that we have that line, we don't want to affect the circle. So we're going to come over here like this. All right. All right. Now, after all those steps, now when this comes in and the circle pushes up against the top here and this slides over and our tip lines up with the tip right there. Watch this. Bingo. Look at that. That is what we want. We want trace our line so we know where we're gluing. Now we're going to come in. Actually, let's start at the tip so we know where exactly where we got to be. Right there. There we go. All right, we came, brought our template back in just so we can get this back piece so we can know right where our tip is lining up, which is right there. All right, now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to, and there we go. Really nice. All right, sweet. All right, now what we're going to do with this thing is we are going to round off the edges with the Dremel. All right, look at that. Nice tapered edge all the way around. Very cool. line up here. But what we want is we want to make sure there's an even gap in between. Now we're going to bend a little bit to make sure that we fit. Okay. Because you don't want to just lay it down. You got to bend it in there to fit where your marks are. So that's coming down here to the end, right in the center. All right, there we go. Pretty good. All right, there we go. We've got both sides done. We've got all of our details and our little recesses and our our beveled edges with the Dremel. We've got our template drawn. Now we stuck a piece of six millimeter foam on here. This is six millimeter right here. And because there's nothing down here, when you go to push it, it's not level. So to make it level, when we send it through the cutter, we put a six millimeter wedge on here to match this one. So now it sits flat when we, when we spin it around through the, through the scroll saw. We'll actually put another six millimeter piece right on this corner so we're totally level. And then we'll go over to the scroll saw and we'll rip it. Look at that, man. That is crazy. That's pretty darn tight. Now, all right. All right, there we go. All right, now we got a big opening that we can feed our blade through on the scroll saw and we can cut out our finger area here in the trigger. 
All right, there we go. Look at that. Man, is that cool. Boy, I'm Get our template in here, just like so. Hold it down. And we're going to draw our last top cut for our body. Dig that. Look at that. We cut this off up here. It's really nice. That is really cool. All right, man, oh man. All right, now we're gonna begin doing some dremeling. Now we're gonna shape this thing a little bit um, all around the handle on both sides, all around the trigger area, because we want it kind of rounded. Um, so let's get our dust mask on and let's uh, do some grinding. All right, that is absolutely ridiculous. Look at how cool that is. It rounds here, and then we did this big bevel to match up with the body of the handle and the little grip. So we really, we had to do these cuts around the grip because we need this part cut out and kind of beveled a little bit, but we knew we were gonna be matching up in here like that. Look at that, man. That is Contour City right there. Ooh, <laughs> All right, look at the difference. All square, nice and rounded off. Holy smokes. All right, let's do the other side. All right, now we're gonna do our little circle details. This is gonna be easy stuff, and we're gonna be dremeling. So, all right, just like that. Now we'll do all four. All right, there we go. Look at that, that's nice. Now this is gonna come in and sit right on there. Point. Come in with our 220 sanding stick and let's just smooth the edge just a little bit all the way around. All right, let's seal these now. Look at that. That is nice and tight. Let's clean our table off. All right, see that? We lined it up around the front of our lower piece. Look at that, really cool. Right in the middle, nice. There's one, two. All right, there's seven. seven. Dip one in, and we're going to put it right there. right there all right there we go Look out. very cool all right let's pop out seven more with our brass tube and drop them in here all right now we're going to come in with this piece it's a 24 millimeter that's an inch thick so we're going to go over and knock this out on the bandsaw real quick All right, there we go. Just like that. This is gonna come in right in here, like so. But what we're gonna do first is we're gonna transfer another template over to this piece. All right, that is pretty cool. So now we have to round off the corners here, which we'll do with the Dremel.
All right, now we've got cement on the insides and on the ends. And here we have cement on the outsides and the two ends of those circles. So now we'll let everything dry up and then we'll stick it together. All right, see that right there? Really nice contact against the circle and against the body. Now we'll really good contact up against the circle and against the body. Nice, I don't know what it is. I'm guessing it's some sort of a guard for your hand. Don't know. Well, there we go. You've got some two millimeter circles and some six millimeter and we're gonna build a little detail. Really, really easy stuff. All right, we're gonna come in with our sharpened brass tube. I'm gonna slide right through. All right, now we're gonna come in and get these larger two millimeter circles with our X-Acto knife. Nice. All right, there's some super glue down. Some in the center there. Put a little bit on the base. Use an extra piece of foam as a squeegee. Let's stick it down. Hold up all the bonds. That thing is crazy awesome and super easy. Man, this is really, really easy right now. All right, now begins the whole top part of our dart gun, all the tubes. The whole thing is very tubular. So we're gonna be doing a lot of circles for this whole top section. Not hard, just gotta be careful. Gotta make sure you're sticking everything together centered so it doesn't look wonky and, and out of balance. Uh, so what we're going to do for this first section is we're going to take a 18 millimeter and a 12 millimeter and stick it together because we need a piece that thick. And then we've got an 8, a 4, and a 6. And we're going to be doing a little bit of dremeling. Really easy stuff. Stick all right, there we go. Now we're going to begin cutting all these on the bandsaw. All right, there we go. Now we've got the six, the four, the eight, and the big stack. It's gonna be like that, really jamming. So now what we're gonna do is this, is we're going to be dremeling the edge of this six millimeter, and we're gonna be dremeling the edge of the 18 millimeter. So we're gonna get our dust mask on. All right, there we go. Okay, now this piece, we are going to bevel both edges. So, all right, now this is really easy. We're gonna come in, we're gonna make a mark, a quarter of an inch. And we're gonna come around to this side, do the same thing. All right, now let's do the other side. All right. All right, so what we did is this. This is the angle we wanna bevel from. We wanna take off the corner from this line to this line. All right, let's get our dust mask on. We're gonna throw a lot of dust here. All right, there we go. Look at that. That's a perfect beveled edge from line to line. Super easy, but man, oh man, look at that mess. Gloves, dust mask. Don't be a dumb dumb. Line to line on both sides. That is really nice. All right, now we're going to come in with our 220 sanding sticks, and we're going to smooth these edges a little bit. Touch 
one side down and then get the other side. Not bad. All right, so now what we can do is we can go right up to the edge with our extra piece of foam. That is Touch one side down, then get around here to make sure we're right in the center all the way around. Nice. Cool, man, cool. Okay, now comes the next section of uh, our tubular assembly at the top. Now we need a really thick, long foam dowel. So what we're going to be doing is we're gonna be taking these three pieces right here. This is a thick, super thick two inch, that's 48 millimeter, and here is a three quarter inch, which is 18. We're gonna cut all three of these out and we're gonna stick them together so we have a long, solid, dowel of foam and then we're going to wrap it with this. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to knock all three of these out. Since it's kind of thick, we'll use the scroll saw for this one. All right, there we go. We've got the 18 millimeter and two 48s. And now Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get this side, which means... Touch an edge down flush, as close as we can to perfectly lined up. Alright, there we go. Look at that. Man, that is a chunky monkey right there. Look at that thing. Woo. We want our little sharpened brass tube. That one might be a little too big. Slip right through just like that. And that went through in about three spins. That's pretty nice. And we're going to go right through to that side. And now let's and just like that and bingo it comes out now if you've got any little hiccups in there you come in with your dremel that's it right there pretty clean pretty clean so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go through all these and do the same thing Okay, here's our piece that we wrapped around as a test piece so we can get a measurement. And that's right there. Okay, so that's our length. 7 and 13 sixteenths. And now what we're going to do is this. Alright, you've seen us do this before. When you do a wrap, remember what's important about a wrap is cut a slight bevel on your end cuts because you want to have a little that perfect connection at the end. So what we're going to do is we're going to go just a little bit past our line and we're going to slow, ever so slightly do a bevel. And we're also just slightly a bevel. Okay, there we go. Now, the two outer edges, there's a bevel this way and this way. So when we wrap it around together and it comes together and meets up, it's going to meet really nice right there. All right. Perfect, we've got our dowel cemented and our wrap. Line our edge up. We're going to roll it just like this. Let's do the same thing, let's roll it. But as we roll it, we wanna make sure we're, we're keeping our front edge of our dowel flush. Okay, looks like we are going to be pretty perfect when it comes to these two touching. So now what we have to do is that one last detail that you always have to do, which is get the edge. You gotta touch our ends together. And now we're going to come down here and we're going to line it up the whole step of the way. Edge to edge, just like that. See what we're doing? Look at that. See that? The trick is measure it, 
and then cut the bevel cut on the end of each side and it goes right together and then you squeeze your foam in and look at that. That's crazy, crazy perfect. All right now push that down. All right, let's get a roll going here. That is really cool. So while we've got it centered exactly where we want it, let's make a mark so we know where to glue. We're going to line our Sharpie mark up just like that. And then we're not going to touch it down because we want to go oh, almost dropped it. So we just want to make sure that we're on our marks, which we are really cool. Wow, man, tons of work. You saw how we got the whole handle assembly built all the way up to the top right there. And uh, we started assembling the barrel wrapping a cylinder, a bunch of circular details here. Um, ton of work got done, but there is a ton of work left. Um, but so far, so good. You've seen the same techniques we use all the time. You can totally do this. Um, that's it. That concludes making an EVA foam Joker's Dart Gun Part 1. Hope you liked it. If you did, give us a like, share us with a friend, and subscribe to this channel. And together we're going to go step by step through a lot more super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve. Thanks for coming. See you next time.